Chair recognizes Mr. Donalds from Florida. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, Mayor Bowser, good to see you. Okay. Chief Conte, it's been a while. You haven't been back for oh, two years or so. <laughs> it's good, it's good, good to see you. Mr. Donahue, first time. <laughs> uh, Mr. Graves, bro, you need to do your job. I mean, let's just be very clear. You know, obviously, you have a responsibility to the residents of the district in a, in a myriad of ways. I think, you know, my colleague talked about that and went in some heavy detail there. But if you're not going to do the job of actually standing behind Chief Conti and the work that his men and women do with the Metropolitan Police Department, then you're selling them down a river and with them, the residents of D.C., um, and even the tourists that come to D.C. But, you know, they're the ones that live here. They, you know, they ride the bus. They, 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 they get on the metro. They're going to school. They're going to work. And what everybody wants is just to be safe. And you're not holding up your end of the bargain. I've seen MPD all over D.C. They're out here every single day. It's not they are here. It's very clear when they're on the scene. But you're not doing your job. Um, so I, I just find it to be disgusting, frankly. Just uphold the law, enforce the law, and that actually will make the job easier for the chief and for the mayor to do their jobs. 